A South Florida Congresswoman elected just four months ago is already the target of a tough attack ad. Representative Maria Elvira Salazar, a Republican from Miami, is being targeted by Democrats who accuse her of supporting QAnon and the mob that attacked the Capitol. Our senior political reporter Michael Putney has taken a closer look at the ad and joins us now from the newsroom. Michael. And Nicole, we subjected this ad to our truth test and found that it is full of half-truths, exaggerations, and a few outright lies. It's par for the course, of course, but these days it is surprising the ad is coming right on the heels of Salazar's election. I will be the one going to Washington. Veteran TV personality Maria Alvira Salazar pulled off a big upset by beating Donna Shalala who has indicated she will run again and is now getting help with an ad from congressional Democrats. QAnon, a conspiracy theory born online, took over the Republican Party. The Democrats' ad, airing on Local 10 and other South Florida TV stations, tries to tie Salazar to QAnon, the shadowy group that promotes internet conspiracy theories. Sent followers to Congress and with Donald Trump incited a mob that attacked the Capitol and murdered a cop. True, except Salazar has no known ties to QAnon and has denounced the Capitol attack. Then Republicans like Maria Elvira Salazar voted to protect Trump, letting the QAnon mob win. False, QAnon didn't win. It just gained more notoriety. As for voting, Salazar was sick with COVID in January and missed the vote on electors. Later, she did vote against impeaching Donald Trump. Congresswoman Salazar should have stood with us, but she was a coward. She stood with Trump and the lies. Salazar voted for Trump, but has recognized Joe Biden as the winner. Congresswoman Maria Elvira Salazar, she stood with Q, not you. Marjorie Taylor Greene stood by QAnon until she backed away yesterday. But Salazar went against GOP leadership and voted to strip Green of her committee assignments. We asked Representative Salazar's office to comment on the ad. They instead referred us to the Republican Congressional Campaign Committee and it says the ad is full of disgusting false smears. Representative Salazar will talk about it on Sunday when she is our guest on This Week in South Florida. Join her and Glenna and me 1130 a.m. Sunday here on Local 10.